New Year, everyone. Mm -hmm. It was a um, good win for us. You know, really proud of the response that we had. You know, we played one game in 20 days. We felt like, all right, here's another new season for us. And, uh, you know, fully healthy. I uh, thought really everybody that played stepped up and made some big time, big time plays and key moments. And, uh, you know, we had a few lineups on the court. We just had a roll and, and went with it. But I thought our defense was, you know, back to where we needed to be offensively. We really shared the ball well. Uh, you know, Ryan Young obviously had a big time night. And, uh, not missing a field goal, not missing a free throw. But just his rebounding. You, know, you feel like when the shot's taken, he's going to come up with the ball. Uh, but happy to answer anything, but really, really proud of this. And, you know, for me, you know, I started here. Well, 2006, and Florida State's been one of the teams we've had incredible battles with. I have so much respect for Coach Hanlon and what he's done. And uh, to be in this situation, coaching against him and create a program like Florida State is an honor, you know, for me and obviously our program. You went with the small lineup in the first half. You had Young, and then you had four perimeter guys. You had a lot of success that way. Was that by plan, or was that because they don't maybe had the bigs in the past, or? You know, Mark, it's really just a feel. And, you know, we have a plan going into the game, but certain guys, one, we were in foul trouble, uh, but then certain guys had it going. And, you know, I thought uh, Dariq had some really well, <laughs> thought Dariq had some really good minutes. Uh, and that lineup, once we had it, you know, Jake, Jake came off the bench, and you know, we just went on a run. And so we kept that group in, and, you know, to extend the lead to 17 and a half was a big deal. John, talk about the decision to start Jalen Blake's and where you think you think that goes from here. Well, I, I think for us as we go on in the season, we may start different groups. And you know, tonight this was, you know, we felt the best thing. And Jalen, his his energy, his confidence, uh, his defense has been rock solid for us. And made that switch. And credit to him, he took advantage of that opportunity. And uh, so, you know, really proud of what he's done. You know, he's coming off a year he didn't play. Uh, it's been in different environments and. He's just grown and you know, he's as hard as any worker that we have. Uh, he studies game plans like you wouldn't believe and uh, just proud and happy for him. And it uh, can't be a one-time thing. He need to continue to build, but uh, knowing him, he'll be back to work right away. We talked a lot about his ability to bring energy off the bench. How does that translate to bringing energy from the very get-go? Yeah, well, no matter if you're starting, coming off the bench, that's something we talk a lot about. And our depth is still you know, a strength of ours, you know, played nine guys and, you know, played a lot of them extended minutes. And uh, and still for Jalen, I just thought in that first group, he had that energy right away. But I think we can see different lineups with this group and uh, we'll continue to adjust as, uh, you know, as each game comes about. You mentioned Ryan Young having a complete performance. I mean, I know it's hard to describe something as perfect, especially from a coaching point of view, but could his performance have been any better today? You know, I'm sure I'll find something he could have done better. But it was, it was pretty close. It was pretty close. I think he fouled, well, how many times? Uh, he, he fouled twice. So maybe one of them was a good foul. I don't know. But, but uh, he was pretty close. I'll give him that. John, even on a down year, Florida State's been able to compete with some of the better teams like Purdue and Virginia before. What can you say about that program and Coach Hammond? Well, it's kind of what I alluded to in the beginning. You know, they're, they're a proud program. Coach Ham, of course, is, is a great coach. And, you know, we didn't feel like their record, you know, uh, accurately represents who they are as a team and the talent that they have. And you know, they've won three out, of, three out of their last four games. Like you said, on the road at Virginia, the one ACC game, uh, they're right there towards the end. Purdue, same thing at home. So we had great respect for them coming in. And I think it's one of those things, no matter what our records are, you know, when we play these guys, we know it's going to be a, a big time battle. John, when you guys got back together after the holiday, coming off that loss to Wake, how did that resonate with the guys? How did you get them intense, motivated, whatever, to, to put that performance on stage? Yeah, you know, I give them credit, Steve. They 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 knew we had to be a lot better. And so it wasn't like I had to convince them of that. And really it was just, I don't want to say start from scratch because it's not like you have to, you know, blow this whole thing up or anything. We've had a, we've had a good start to the year. Uh, we really have a it's a it's a fresh start and you when you have that much time off in between games it's hard to keep the same rhythm it just is and so for us we went got back to work you know four really good days of preparation uh, our guys embraced it they they've worked really hard we 
got back to into the shape that we needed to. And you know, for us going against each other, it's gotten us better. That's something that not a lot of teams have, where we can put you know ten guys on the floor that can go out and practice. We need to balance that and not do it too much, where we get banged up. But we did that this week, and it really benefited us. Jeremy mentioned that the guys throw game began. He says that's been the season he's going to have to play through at this point. He had a little bit more than one needed performance today, too, after the late game. Is that just the time and the rhythm thing? Is it the toe? What do you sort of need to do to? You know, I, I think it's just a rhythm thing for Jeremy. You know, I thought he really, you know, uh, played a really good floor game overall. You know, he had three assists. I think he could have had more. Uh, you know, he passed out probably a couple open good ones, but when he's shooting open shots, which he did tonight, we're better for it, you know, going to a five, like I'd be okay with them taking more threes. And uh, so he is something we have to continue to manage. Uh, and, you know, wish he was completely better by now, but it's not quite there. And we'll continue to do what we have to to get him rest and recover. Tariq mentioned him kind of instilling some confidence in him that this was going to be a big game for him. Did you see that in matchups or did you just kind of get a feel of where he was the last few days in the sense that he's getting to a point where he's going to be his full self? You know, for me, when I was looking at Dariq, one, I think sometimes getting away and clearing your head and coming back can be a good thing. You know, we've seen that over the years for Christmas break. And just like I said, for the team, it's a fresh start. I felt the same way for Dariq. Take what you've learned. And, you know, to his credit, buddy has best two days of practices. And, you know, I've always believed, you know, uh, preparation leads to confidence. And that's why I said I have a lot of confidence in you. You practice this way, it's going to, you're going to, I'm excited to see where it goes. And so uh, he did a really good job tonight. He, you can tell he gives us a different dimension. And uh, you need to follow, it up, follow that up with consistency and build it in practice. But give him credit. Look, this is a, for any of our guys, but to, it's never smooth sailing. It's just, it just isn't. And so for Dariq, I think he's gotten a lot tougher in this stretch. You know, and he's not the only one. I could go through any of our guys, any of our freshmen have gone through ups and downs already. Any freshman who's ever come through here has gone through that, and uh, they're going to be better for it. Just fighting out is the only way to do it, and that's what Dariq is starting to do and really proud of him for it.